What's up, Rap Fam? Today, buckle up, cause it's a it's an adventure. It's a long video with a roller coaster ride of emotions, and yeah, it's a lot. It's very unique. Today, we're exploring Marie's room, which has us dealing with crime and mystery and putting together pieces of the puzzle one step at a time. And and there's time travel too. It's a lot. So let's get right to this story-driven, amazing game. I didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? Oh. Oh, okay. So, where is the journal? Oh, okay, so the objective is to find the journal. Um, I wonder what happened, though. She seemed kind of sad about it, honestly. Whoa, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm always so taken aback when, like, free games are, like, graphically amazing. It's like, damn, a lot of work. We got some, uh, electronic... Picture frames, pretty pretty modern, pretty modern. Um, that, that's interesting, it looks more like a TV. Can you imagine being so rich that you could afford buying a TV to use as a picture frame? I don't even wanna say that's goals because that just seems wasteful. But okay, so we can deduce uh, she, she has some children. You know what, this, this um, aesthetic, or these graphics remind me of Life is Strange and I'm wondering, is this, is that intentional? Is this somehow related to Life is Strange? I don't know. Alright, more pictures. Okay, let's see. So there's a little boy. We can interact with it. Is that oh. me? Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? You know, everyone goes through those phases. Hair is a very fun way to express yourself. I have pretty much have edit I pretty much have had every hair color. So <laughs> I got lots of pictures of bad haircuts too. So lots of books, more pictures. Ooh, an older couple. Look, Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. Whoa, wait. Honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. Mr. Torres, so this isn't her house? But she wishes she was there with them? Interesting. Interesting. I kind of just assumed this was her house. Okay. Oh, wow. They fancy. They got a smart house. What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. Oh, we're dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right there. Confirmed it. We're dead. We're... We're... Well, that's a squeaky floor. No, that's her parents' room. What? Okay, that's her parents' room. So it's definitely not... Okay, so those are her parents. We some for some reason aren't affected by weather anymore but we're in her house don't know who her is yet but um i'm assuming that is her trophy and oh maybe it's our best friend because that was us in the picture interesting 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 okay let's uh let's explore some more what is this oh wow this is a wickedly cool bedroom oh my goodness as a teenager can you imagine having like this this looks so cool okay we got we got we got a height chart okay it stopped at 12 years old i wonder why after 12 are you just you don't think it's cool anymore to track your progress because i wish i would have done that that sounds pretty cool just to visually see how tiny you once were you know i don't know oh we got the journal oh hi kelsey hi oh. kelsey I don't need to narrate. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what, what you did? Do? Honestly, I don't know. Okay. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend. Loved. Loved unconditionally. Past tense. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you, I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. So we're alive. I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Marie. Except she would Not Mary. Be. She would not be all right. Oh. Okay. So we're alive. She ain't. She dead. Got that backwards. Oh, whoa. We are back in time. Yep, this is one dope ass teenager's room. What the hell? I want this room. This seems cool as hell. Okay, with the music choice too, it really is giving me vibes of Life is Strange. I dig it. Very cool. Ooh. 
Look at that tube TV and look at that laptop. Clashing of uh, some decades there, huh? I say that, but I actually had a tube TV like up until 2010, so. Okay, let's explore the laptop. Oh! Do you think there's a password written somewhere or should we just guess? Password? She must have written it down here somewhere. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, so let's find a password. That movie was a shit piece of crap. <laughs> what? Glad Trevor snuck us in. A I don't shit think piece I of crap. Handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. What does it? I never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Whoa. That is some rude as hell shit. What the fuck? Not wanting to be her friend in public? Did I hear that right? Girl, you are rude. Journal updated. Oh, what the heck? Wait, are we like a time traveler? I thought maybe we were going back like in her memories. I didn't think we were actually doing whatever the heck this is. This is. Last hope. February 14th, okay, so the day of the La La Land. Oh wait, she's not narrating. Oh, I, I, I kind of expected she was gonna narrate again. Thought I, I thought someone was coming for my, for my job. My job. Fuck! I'm so stupid. I finally got to see La La Land. They showed it on classic night at the theater. I went with Ben. Loved it. Kelsey was there too. I was so happy to see her. I actually freaking hugged her, and she pushed me away. Asked me what I thought I was doing and that Trevor asshole was enjoying the show and her super cheerleader friends. Girl, come on. Stop trying to like, I hate that shit, right? Like to fit in with like a particular group of people you can't be friends with other people. If someone tells you, you know, that if someone judges you for wanting to go outside of your circle of friends to make other friends, you know, they're not friends worth having, okay? That didn't make any sense. Did it? I don't know. In my head it did. Fuck people like this girl. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, this is a phone? Oh, it's a hamburger phone. phone number. He called her. I knew he blamed her for everything. But she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. What? Torres. Okay, I am so confused. Like, I feel like I am jumping mid-story and I... I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Okay. She said it so dramatically, like... That was the purpose of this whole, you know, um, episode of time traveling. Which, can we get back to that? Okay, so, like, the other girl's clearly dead. Something happened? She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. I, I just, there's so much I to explore. skinny dipping. But Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark. No one would ever come close to the freak. Oh, no, he wasn't okay. there. Okay, just to be clear, but someone else was. What? Oh my god. Okay, I'm trying to piece together the clues, but there's so much to actually explore for once that I'm just getting more and more information before I can even put together the other information that I already have. So let's stop for a minute. Let's collect ourselves. Let's think about the storyline right now. All right, so we're in Marie's house. Mr. Taurus um, is the girl's father. And he got remarried. Something happened to Marie. Uh, she's either dead or something tragic equally happened. I don't know. She planned on leaving and then she planned on coming back and she just didn't come back. So I'm going to say she's dead. Okay, so we got that. We know that we are a real asshole, especially to Marie, who just wanted to be our friend apparently and we did her dirty. We wanted to fit in with the cheerleaders who obviously weren't really our good friends to begin with, uh, you know? So you're gonna regret doing that. Obviously she does. And for some reason we are time traveling and we need to find the key to the lock. And that's all I got so far. We're an asshole. Something bad happened to Marie and now we're time traveling. Maybe we're gonna try to prevent the thing that happened to Marie. I don't know. Let's just, find, let's just keep going. <laughs> My brain is mush today. Oh, here, oh, no, no, that says hotel. I thought that was, I thought those were numbers and I got excited. Um, let's see, what's to explore here? There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. 
The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever, and the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Okay, so something happened to our lives that was equally as tragic. Maybe not equally. I don't know what happened to Marie yet. But we had to resort to eating out of a trash can because we were starving. Fun times! She asked me why I was so angry all the time. And I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards had been dealt. Oh. Any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie... Okay. My friend Marie. She got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. Okay. And you did her obviously dirty. Great. Wonderful. You just crushed my heart over here. Like you did Marie's. Wow. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Ew. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. Wouldn't that kind of smell? Wouldn't bugs be attracted to the leftover grease that's inside of that? It seems kind of gross. Okay, let's see. The candles. Mr. Torres oh. and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at Food Rescue. Okay. He was stabbed. Almost died. Jeez. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches. Concussion. And you still did her dirty? She still had headaches, she said. Okay, damn. That's just sad as hell. Dang, this... I keep waiting for an, uplif an uplifting moment. But, you know, with each with each new item, it's just more sadness. Great. I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry. Did she said it was for me to remind me. You threw a rock at this bitch? Dude, you're just sinking lower and lower in my eyes. Damn, I don't want to be you. You're awful. Okay, let's see what's on the TV. Um, have, have you, you seen, seen this man? This man. Oh. <laughs> Jinx. Yeah, I've seen him. Okay. Cool to know. So maybe this guy did something bad to Marie and we knew the guy. Were we in on it? Hated that thing. Okay. That was necessary. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Okay, girl. So we know you're super into science. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Why you gotta say it's so right, judgmental? A little jealous. Oh, okay, that makes sense. You did something bad. But maybe you're trying to redeem yourself. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. Okay, more pieces of the puzzle. So I'm assuming that was the guy on the TV, and he did something to Marie. Yes, that's what she I'm going with. Stuff about time travel and black holes and stuff. We're time traveling. I just wanted to do something simple calculate shit uh-huh and be mean is what she said her the weird kid ducked boring so yeah we settled on antimatter oh because who wants to be boring yeah that's not boring you opened up a uh, you, you uh did something to the timeline huh yeah she did something i don't know what but she did something Ah, uh, yes the science project yeah. Of all people, they I chose know to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it. Okay. And chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Uh huh. Okay, so that's how they became friends. Gotcha, gotcha. She has a cat. Oh, she has a cat. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Aww. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Damn, girl. This is just a bucket full of depression. Dang. Okay, I still haven't found any, like, numbers or, or passwords or anything like that. So I'm wondering if maybe it is in the journal. Because I, I saw it was updating, but I wanted to get a few posts in before I came back to it. 
But let's see. Oh, wow, we got a lot. We got a lot, we got a lot, we got a lot. We're filling in the missing pieces. February 16, 2018. Okay, I've calmed down a bit. That La La night, she was with Trevor, and he is such a fucking asshole. She's different when she's around him. Not that it makes it all right. It doesn't, it never makes it. If you're one of those people, reevaluate your, your decision making, okay? No one's worth being mean. No one's worth faking who you are to impress them. Because guess what? End of the day, what does it matter? You're not really impressing them with yourself. So is it just kind of like cheating? But she did come straight over to tell me she was sorry. She knows she was wrong. Broke my window with that damn rock. Oh, okay. So we didn't throw a rock at her. Gotcha. That's much better. But she said if I'd answered the call at the pebbles, she wouldn't have thrown the rock. She's been here ever since. Doesn't have anywhere else to go, really, except for Trevor. I'm glad she'd rather sleep here. Right now, as I write this, she's on the bed going over some notes from class. I like having her here, and Dad's okay with it. Girl, she was your sister and you still treated her badly? Damn! That's some next level evil shit. March 17th, 2018. You may have noticed, sweet journal, that there are less and less F words in these pages. I am so friggin' proud. Only when I go berserk, like when Kelsey threw that rock through my window, then it's hard to keep up. Girl, same. I'm trying, I'm trying guys. I'm trying not to curse so much. And then it, it you know, scary games. It just brings it, brings it out on me. Did you know that as a little girl, I used to curse abundantly? Trying to extend my vocabulary here. Dad thought it indicated intelligence, and I guess it looked cute up to a certain age. But he said mom hated it, so every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. Can't tell you how much that hurt every time, because I'd never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. He must have rejoiced. Yep, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a madman. Mad woman. Must have. Aw, that's so cute. What a cute family memory. All is now harmed, April 9th, 2018. Kelsey is so angry at the world, like all the time. It's kind of annoying, but I get it. We all have different stories to tell. So as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her that she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen, not wait for it. That's great life advice, guys. I told her to deal again, not drugs, the cards. That's so cute. God, what a good friend. What the hell happened to her? April 13th, 2018. I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me, calling me names, threatening me, threatening me that if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that, as if I've got her tied up in here. I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. Okay. June 7th, 2018. It's so weird to see a date from the future. Took me forever to convince Kelsey to ride a bike because it ain't cool. Our rides are the best part of the day now. And on this day, we rode them through Mr. Jones' Orange Grove in broad daylight. We got home with a basket full of the juiciest golden oranges. I didn't even think about getting caught. Oh gosh, okay. So another joy, so, so there's some happy memories in here before, you know, more sadness. June 30th, 2018. There's been another home invasion. Oh, that's scary. Just two blocks from here. They killed the woman this time. And the police thinks that Trevor, suppose it was him in our house. I can't wrap my head around it. It's too big. But Kelsey says it isn't true. That Trevor is a bastard, but would never commit such violent acts. I, th I think your suspicion was right, girl. Looking at that torn t-shirt, I think she might be in denial here. Oh, July 5th, 2018. I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret this. Did what, girl? Turn him in? Hopefully turn him in. Ugh. July 7, 2018. We needed this. Beer, water, and oranges like so many nights before Trevor. No, I'm not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. He who shall not be named shall not be named. Not today. Okay, well that was, um, a lot of information. Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. I'm just so confused. Like when, when she's talking about these little snippets, sometimes it feels like it's be before they were friends and then also like after they stopped being friends. And so like, I'm quite not understanding. Oh, there's more journal entries. 
Oh, 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 there is a lot more. Oh, I did not see that there were more pages. Okay. Uh, November 9th, 2017. High school kids saves classmates from hunger. After that school article, people kept asking me why I did it. As if I were some kind of hero. So stupid. And I keep telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book, my life story, so they'll stop bugging me. Crazy people. Here, for the last time. Last fall, I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack. As he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth, our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I never realized that my classmates were actually hungry. So I joined Food Rescue to help. There. The end. Everyone satisfied? Wow, that's really, really nice of her, though. Not many teenagers would give up like their free time to do something like that for other kids. Oh my goodness, they put me on Kelsey's team. Acting. <laughs> my heart races whenever I stop to think about it. Don't think she's all that pleased though. I wonder whether she remembers me from Food Rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. Can't wait to start working on our science project. Did you get that? Our project. I feel like I'm going to explode from excitement. That's really sweet. I wonder why she liked her so much though, like right away, right? Like I wonder, did she just think she was cool from afar? December 4th, 2017. I screwed up, but I was worried. I'm still worried. And what else could I do? Kelsey hasn't been to food rescue in a while and I just wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or something. So I offered her my sandwich. Yeah, that's a sweet gesture, but I could see how that would backfire. Why did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Good one, Marie. Really, really well done. She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out because she was probably embarrassed. And now we're behind with a project too. I hope we make the deadline. December 22nd, just stop. Why do you keep writing this shit? I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but you know. They are never going to find them. I wish everyone would just stop. Leave us alone so I can forget the whole god-awful night. Some think my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. Truth is, we never saw them coming. When that guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped and I would have punched him, scratched his eyes out, I swear. I think I could have killed him, but the other one got to me before I even knew there were two. I never saw their faces. Neither did my dad. So they never caught them. That is some traumatic stuff, girl. Nothing was different. January 5th. We're all just matter. That's what Kelsey keeps saying, and she's right. But matter is also life, and life is something we need to take care of. She likes to be out on a limb. She says she's got nothing to lose. Bam! She didn't even realize what she was saying. Or maybe I'm too sensitive. Guess that'll show me to believe that we were friends. I guess I'm a shadow person after all. Girl, no, you are a human being. I think she's gonna break her neck, by the way. See if I care. Okay, why is she gonna break her neck? What does that mean? Okay, now we're all caught up. Still have not found a password. Um, where could a password be? Where could a password be? I think I pretty much looked at everything. Let's see, where would a password be? Ooh. Trevor, what an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent. Okay, somehow. girl, he's totally the murderer. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt. What the hell? Until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben. Why did no one call the police? Yeah, a lot of shit for it later. What the heck? I don't understand. How did how did how are police not called? How was he not in trouble by like school administration? What the heck? Okay. Um. Oh, there's a phone. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take okay. care of me. Okay. And we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. Oh. I had no idea where the money oh. came from. Oh. Okay. I could watch that gorgeous mouth eat anything. That's kind of a weird thing to say. Okay, so he's the killer. I'm assuming drug dealer since she said something about drugs in the journal. Okay, well that's just sad. That's just real sad. Again, no password. Where the heck would a password be? Do you guys see a password? I don't see a password. I'm assuming it must be in the journal somewhere. Um, oh, April 11th. Kelsey broke up with Trevor. 
Finally! She can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Of course no one saw it happen. Girl, that should be like on cameras, maybe? Doesn't every school have like security cameras? I hope they do. But he literally tore the clothes from her body. Fuck! I promise not to swear, so there you go. But she's done with him now. Things can only get better. And from your next post, uh, it doesn't it doesn't sound like it gets any better. January 28th. I'm trying to ignore the fact that all of Kelsey's cute stuff is paid for with Trevor's money. He is such a creep. Ooh, girl, she saw it before you did. You know, I get like sometimes people on the outside don't truly understand the whole situation, but you know, sometimes also the other side of the coin. Uh, people on the outside can see things more clearly than than the people in the situation. So if someone, you know, voices concerns of your well-being and maybe that the person that you are with or hanging out with isn't good for you, you know, I can see why you'd be offended. I get it. But I do think you got to hold back that initial anger and maybe like ask them why they feel that way and ask for like solid like clues and stuff because maybe she'd be alive if um, you would have just listened to her. You know what I'm saying? I don't see what she sees in him. She says I'm jealous. As if. Thing is, she thinks she needs him to get away from all of this, but she doesn't. She got away from her mom all on her own. Kelsey's the smartest, coolest, sweetest person you can imagine. No girl, that belongs to you. <laughs> she doesn't need anyone to get her out. She can do that all on her own. Too bad she doesn't believe in herself yet. She once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? No, I just... said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. She says that so, like, evilly. What the hell? Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside, just in case my mom was too drunk to feed Aww. me again. Girl, your life was hard, man. Your life was hard and sad. I am sorry you had to go through that. Fictional character. <laughs> All right, still no damn password. What the heck? Oh, but shoes, sparkly shoes. He and has password. money. You see? Oh, girl, that's no reason I was wear these to, to stay with someone that's abusive. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. <sighs> okay. Obviously, it didn't come, for, come from somewhere legal. Hmm. Let's see. Was there more journal postings? Okay, March 17th. Oh, those sparkly shoes. She wears them all the time. Those are pretty fancy shoes to be wearing all the time, girl. Last night, the heels dug into my calf. That freaking hurt. Have you seen those heels? So I yanked them off her feet and told her not in the bed. She was amused. I can't think why. To be honest, I wish I was a size nine because they look absolutely gorgeous. On Kelsey's feet at least. That's a weird thing to say. When I tried them on, I looked like a little girl trying on mommy's shoes. Alrighty. Oh, okay. I didn't look at this. Marie always dreamed about going Who doesn't, to right? Besides people I that live there. I don't think she ever went. Okay. That's a weird thing to, okay. I don't think she ever went. So she's definitely gone. Where, oh, where? Oh, broke a window. She was my friend. And I There's had a journal entry. So I came back here, throwing stones at the window. But she didn't react, so I threw a bigger stone. And it shattered the glass. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust oh. me ever again. That's not what she said though. She said it was for you, not the other way around. Okay, where is the new posting? February 14, 2018. I feel a place everywhere outside of this room. She said she was sorry. I know, but fuck. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells and that's not what a friendship should be like, right? No, it should not. If you had to walk like you're on eggshells around somebody, then there's no trust there. And then if there's no trust, is there even a relationship? The answer is no. I feel disconnected. She did not want to be my friend. She was embarrassed. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What's, what's more is there to look at? Disgusting. And like, can we talk about like how she, why, was that a frozen TV dinner? Why did she have a frozen TV dinner in her backpack? Like that, that's gonna defrost, it's gonna get soggy, it's gonna get bacteria. 
is gross. Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming okay. pool. That night, I guess he must have seen Oh, us. he definitely killed her. Yeah, he was stalking you and then he killed her. Wow, okay. I wore those a lot. Not to protect my eyes, but to hide yeah. them. Yeah. I didn't want anyone to know. She knew, though. Someone always knows. You can't hide that stuff. Oh! Lorraine, Marie's mom. Died oh, that is really five. sad. My mother, she might as well have been oh. dead. She looked more dead than alive. That's also sad. Know. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Okay, wow. Okay. Let's go back to this darn journal. May 22nd. These are the good times that make me forget. All my trouble seems so far away. Wait a minute. Is that a song? Yes, it is. That is a that is a cute little posting. Oh, her mom's birthday. January 9th. Oh, January 9th is her mom's birthday. But again, it's not five numbers. So don't quite know how that could be a password. Okay, yeah, more stuff is getting added, right? You ever peeled this wasn't here. So juicy. The drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun. That's very poetic. The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. Oh, what's nice that either you stole or he gave to you. I feel like I've read her diary so much that I don't ever need to write in a diary. I feel like this is enough. Uh, May 19th, 2018. Kelsey took me night swimming in Mr. Jones's pool. I was scared shitless for the first time. But uh, two beers and freshly picked oranges. Chill. Best nights ever. All right, well, good to know that they had a good night before bad night, I guess, you know? I definitely feel like things are getting like added because I feel like I like that didn't pop up before that I could click on it. Oh, what's this? I'm not a shadow person. <gasps> I'm not a shadow yeah. person. It took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. I'm not a shadow person. That is the damn password. Shadow person. Hell yeah. Hacker man. <laughs> Hacker man. I guess. We'll go with it. One day, oh, I just she likes cats. had to know. What's up with all the cats? She said she like admired cats. them. That they were who they were without any pretense. That Aww, that's cute. they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. <laughs> Cats do have a great life if they have a great owner, you know what I'm saying? Like when Bumblebee went missing. Marie Trevor killed it for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I'd cry too. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Why would you ever talk to him again? That's so scary. Oh, Bumblebee usually wears a red collar with his name. He's an orange tabby with white chest and paws, green eyes. Please help me find him. Oh, it's so Marie, sad. Oh, I wonder if that's the date. You know that's illegal. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, she felt Trevor was a serious enough threat. Okay, so I'm wondering if the password is 62318. I bet it is. 62318. 62318. Why does someone need to get hurt oh. before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If what? I had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Yeah, she died. Unless she killed Trevor and then she went on the run. Harassed by fellow student. Um, from Mr. Phillips to Marie. Hi, Marie. It grieves me to hear that this is how you feel, but I'm afraid there's not much I can do at the stage. I understand you are alarmed and feel unsafe, but Trevor has not broken any school laws, nor has he hurt anyone. That's not true. He literally dragged her in the hallway, and there was witnesses because she knew it happened, and then Ben knew it happened. But, oh, maybe, maybe she denied it to not get Trevor in trouble. Damn. I would like to invite you and Trevor into my office to see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know when you're ready to talk. You know where to find me. Kind regards, Principal. Oh, no. Oh. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. 
Oh, Mother okay. Have gone to the Orange Grove. What happened to the Orange Grove? Okay, this right here would be the proof that you would then show the principal that he was harassing you, and then he would be breaking rules, and then he, you know? So, this is the proof. This stalking creepiness. At least I think that would be proof. I don't know. Does that constitute as proof anymore? So, let's go to the suitcase. I need to find the key. And let's number. do June 23rd. And let's do 2018. Wrong combination. Oh, damn. Wait. Damn. The journal. It must be in the journal. Wrong uh, company. Okay, so they're telling me that the last entry must be in the journal. January 10, 2018. I love cats because they're not afraid to be difficult. March 27th. She called me her friend today. I am not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. Girl, your self-esteem. That's so low. Oh, okay. Uh, May 19th. Today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Okay, girl, I went to that principal on email number one. Only five. I hope he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it. I can handle that if it keeps him away from her. When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his fingers across his throat again. If he wasn't such a scary ass clown, I'd laugh, but he does scare me. I don't tell Kelsey these things. She shouldn't worry. Girl, you should be telling the damn principal though, unless this is after the principal email, but then that's a shit principal. I'd be going to the cops at this point. My principal wasn't taking me seriously. I would literally annoy the fuck out of whoever had the, whoever could have the authority to do something about it until they believed me. June 12th. They're not listening. I tried every authority at school. Oh damn. I even tried the cops. Oh damn. But they just patted my shoulder. Poor little girl, still traumatized. Bump on the head didn't do her any good. Fuck. Yes, I'm swearing now. A jar full of candy. What should I do? I wish I could tell Kelsey, but she'd go insane and get herself hurt. Or worse, go back to him. Trevor is dangerous. Uh, but again, I would just be relentless. I'd be telling everybody. I'd be telling my dad. I'd be, I, I, I just wouldn't take no for an answer if I thought my life was in jeopardy. Fuck that shit. June 23rd. I know it's him and there's nothing I can do. They never believe me. I don't think I'll ever see Bumblebee again. What a fucking monster. June 30th. I can't sit and watch. I ha I'll have to be fearless. I found the site where you can buy guns off anyone. That's safe. Not that I mean to shoot anyone. It's just I don't know what to do anymore. It's for protection, you know? Isn't that what they say? Anyway, there was this guy who wanted to sell me this totally new 9mm. I'm meeting him out of town somewhere. A little shady, I admit, but with Trevor looking around, I'll take my chances. It's that it just ends there. I got everything. I think I got everything. It feels like I did. Oh, oh, it's in here. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Okay. Worse than being hungry. Damn, girl. That's sad. Oh, okay, so the there's more stuff. Eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Harjuvedic lasagna ever Ew. again. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. There has to be a gosh darn password here somewhere. November 17th, we had a party today celebrating three years of food rescue. Everyone was there. All those happy, familiar faces. Loved it. Kelsey came in. I never took her for one of the hungry. I don't think she knows my name, but everyone knows her. She's gorgeous. It surprised me, is all. Uh, I could see the shame in her eyes when she had to accept the bag of groceries from me. Still, I couldn't take my eyes off of her. If this world allows someone like Kelsey Jackson to be hungry, it must be everywhere. So I'm going to fight with everything I got. Girl, the world did not deserve you. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? <gasps> there are numbers in this gosh darn thing and that is the password. Let's go back from the beginning. Three, four, nine, three, four, nine, five, three, 
four, nine, five. Damn it, we're missing one. Three, four, nine, five. Three, four, nine, five. Of course, we're missing a journal entry, of course. No keys. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. That is so cute. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Why? Why would you feel a pang of guilt? Because she felt like a burden to them? Well, that's not, she shouldn't have felt like a burden. They loved her. They accepted her as family. One more number. I literally could just guess at this point, couldn't I? Okay, literally, there's nothing. There's nothing! I've seen this all before. Okay, I think, guys, guys, is it cheating if I just guess? Is it, is it cheating? Would you frown upon that? I, I don't want you to do something you guys would frown upon, but, um, I, I'm, I'm gonna, do, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Nine, oops, five. And then, literally, just guess. That's so cheating. God damn it. I know, that's so cheating, guys. Yay. Oh! Good but work, one. Kelsey. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Okay, there's the gun. I totally cheated by not getting the last past, posting. Like the future. Sorry. Is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. Okay. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. Damn. It was so we just time travel. As hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. Someone had been. I just wanted to have a good time. And she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. Ooh, she that just regret. stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through Damn. the window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made Obviously sure Obviously he that. followed you, like she said. He took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. Damn. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. No. How should I get it? It wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized... It was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything. Jeez. he had a knife. I'd never seen him so That's angry, so evil. Marie tried to you get You didn't see that when he was hurting you? He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? Oof. God, I just wanted to punch him with anything. Oh, it's going to show me what the last on. thing it probably is. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. Oh, God. He kicked her in the head. Jesus. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Ew. Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor no who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor oh. in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. Why would I she believe anything that Trevor said, no, though? That's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her to Come on, she would have to know not to trust Trevor. It's a manipulator. Talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting... Everything. I mean, shame on Marie for not knowing that. I'm sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. And we got caught oh. by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to oh. get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. 
When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it. That's why she and couldn't like see him. I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. That's why she Marie couldn't be friends and seen with her in public. Her, opened it. Because then he would know. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. But then he Trevor knew. Wait, never mind. Charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... Oh! But what do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened. I say that shit all the time. How other memories moldable. It. But Trevor look at that shit. It's mind blowing. It. Dead. That we all remember. Yes, yeah, it'd be kind of hard to forget that one. Whoa! That was really confusing though because he knew that they were friends because he was blaming her for everything. So I'm confused by that. Get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Mary is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get what? Down here, Mom. You're taking like forever. I'll be down in a minute. What? She's alive? What? 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 I'm just so freaking confused right now. So, like, he. Like, at first I was like, oh, that's why she couldn't be seen with the public, because then he would know that they were friends, and then he'd put two and two together and come back to the house that they robbed, and then, like, you know? But if he knew that they were friends because he blamed her for things, and that's why he, um, Kelsey broke up with him, I don't understand why he then wouldn't have just gone to her house right away. Like, if he was there to break into the house, he would have known where she lived, unless he didn't realize it was her. But then, like, how could he have not? Because then it was all in the paper, so he'd have to know it was her. So I don't really get that part, because, like, he would know where you were at this whole time. Right? Am I, am I wrong? I'm confused by that. Uh, I regret food rescue. I regret the science project. I regret it all. My father could have died because of me and my inability to pick, to pick real friends. Kelsey never was who she said she was. I never really knew her, it turned out. It's all been bullshit. Am I so stupid? I should have realized that La La Night and walked away for good. Because someone died, right in this room. I made him die. I pulled a trigger, made a bullet pierce his head, Ugh, made his blood soak the carpet, drip through the cracks into the floor where it will remain forever to bear witness to what I'm capable of. I can't stay here. Am I the same me? I don't know anymore. I had to fix this. Fix me. Away from her. I had to focus on the positives in my life and stop questioning myself. Why did she do it? Why did I do it? Did I deserve this? Am I an evil person? A killer? I shot him in the head for Christ's sake. I could have gone for his leg. Dad calls them intrusive thoughts. I say they're the truth. Ooh, girl, that is something you, that is some guilt you would live with. I'm stronger than I look. I can do this. I will go up north to Uncle George as Dad suggested. Nice and cool up there. I'll be able to think and finish high school. I'm leaving this journal here because I need a clean slate and fresh pages. I'm sorry. Dear Diary, maybe I'll send for you someday when all this is long over and I've dealt with being a murderer. Hi Kelsey, yes I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how because I don't understand any of it. You were my friend and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you. I stood up to him because of you, but you, I don't know. Right now I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. I don't get it though, she said that she she said, but she never would be back. Oh, she would never be back to this house. That's what she meant. Oh, it's over. Darn. How do you guys feel about it? That was, that was a ride. That was a ride. That was a roller coaster. A little heartbreaking, but then my heart got put back together in the end because it all ended up okay. I don't want to say good, but it ended up okay. Yeah.